Ventilation of basement car parks using impulse or jet fans in conjunction with extract systems is a well-proven method that is commonly used in the UK. In 2004, Colt carried out a series of demonstrations in a car park in Bristol to show that such a system is at least equivalent to the ducted mechanical extract systems detailed in approved document B. Impulse systems are also used in higher performance systems provided as compensating features either for non-provision of sprinklers in the limited circumstances when sprinklers are required or for extended travel distances. The aim of these higher performance systems is to limit the spread of smoke to a defined area of the car park, keeping a clear path for firefighters to approach the fire and for occupants to escape without being adversely affected by the smoke. In October and November 2005, Colt, in conjunction with the BRE, carried out a series of demonstrations to show this principle in practice and to confirm the accuracy of Colt Computational Fluid Dynamics, or CFD, simulations. A test rig was built outside BRE North East in Middlesbrough from a scaffold frame covered with tarpaulins. This was intended to simulate a 35 metre by 30 metre by 3 metre high section of a typical car park. The test rig was open at both ends to allow air inlet and smoke dispersal and two Colt Cyclone fans were located to generate air movement through part of the test rig. A fire was set in a burnt out Ford Escort shell using a tray of diesel fuel sized to provide a heat output of 1 megawatt. A typical car fire is reckoned to be about 4 megawatt peak output, but 1 megawatt was deemed large enough to provide a useful simulation without being a danger to those involved. The area around the fire was protected using fireboard to avoid setting the test trigger light. Before the tests were carried out, a CFD analysis was done to predict the smoke flows and temperatures through the test rig. This showed that the smoke would flow downstream from the fire with very little backflow and that the majority of the car park would remain substantially smoke free, although some recirculation would occur from the smoke dispersal end of the test rig. This is shown in the CFD image here. The site was exposed, so we had to wait for a still day to get representative results. Tests carried out with wind showed that the wind blew through the rig counter to the fan airflow, slowing, stopping or even reversing it. This confirmed the need to use reversible systems with wind direction sensing when using impulse systems to assist natural ventilation. Two successful tests were carried out, these images being taken from the second. A full video, timed and showing the test from start to finish, is also included on this DVD for reference. The fans were running when the fire was lit and the smoke was immediately caught and directed as intended. The backflow seen earlier was as predicted and was limited to high level in the corner of the rig. Downstream of the fire the smoke was largely contained within one downstand bay and completely within two bays, each being 7.2 metres wide. Due to the intentional mixing effect of the fan flow the smoke does not remain at high level but is diluted and billows down to floor level. As predicted, the momentum of the smoke was lost at the dispersal end of the test rig and some recirculation occurred, seen here as a darker area at high level at the end of the rig. This could have been prevented by running the fans at a higher speed, they were set at 80% full speed, but the effect was useful in proving the realism of the CFD. As can be seen, throughout the test good visibility was maintained throughout the main area of the rig and the fire remained easily visible for firefighter access. The demonstration showed that impulse ventilation can limit the flow of smoke to a predefined area and that properly executed CFD analysis can realistically predict smoke flows and temperatures and we hope that this will help give specifiers and enforcing authorities confidence in these systems.